Community oversight boards have been part of our state since 1994. Soon, though, they could be going away courtesy of the General Assembly. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien now explores the fallout from that decision. Michaela McCree has been part of the Nashville Community Oversight Board for about two years. She says she got into it because of the police brutality events of 2020. I was really leaned in and wanted to do more in my community and I wanted to do more along the lines of criminal justice. But soon that board could cease to exist. Republican lawmakers passed a bill along near party lines to abolish them in Tennessee. We're always telling the public, trust the process. And here we have a situation where the process was completely taken away. A community oversight board is a type of police accountability group that gained popularity in light of the spotlight on police brutality in the last few years. Very frustrating, uh, particularly in light of the fact that Nashvillians overwhelmingly petitioned and then through referendum vote, right, established the community oversight board. There are only two community oversight boards in the state, in Memphis and Nashville. This upcoming law only affects those. It would make it just uniform across the state. Republicans argue the bill abolishes the boards but puts in a new type of advisory committee. Knoxville already has a similar uh, advisory board they've had for several years that has worked very well in that community. But current board members say those committees have virtually no power and only give referring capacity, not oversight. Plus, they're appointed by the mayor, not the community. We're in a sad space in Tennessee where the government at the state level is preempting the voices of the people on the ground. The law is set to take effect July 1st. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Governor Lee has yet to sign off on the legislation. Chris did reach out to his office to ask about his plans. The office writing back, quote, as always, the governor will review final legislation and has 10 days to sign a bill once it reaches his desk, end quote. We'll keep you updated.